This is Shamar, and I'm here to bring you a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video. And <clears throat> I know we haven't done anything with the Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, and we're honestly sorry. We play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! The problem is, um, I'm trying to make sure that my decks are perfect. Um, and Joe Dice, I don't know what Joe Dice is doing. Quite honestly, I really don't know. But I really got inspired today, and the reason being, it had to relate to chocolate. Now... I got, like, chocolate yesterday. Of the time of this video, it was Sunday. Um, I was handing out chocolate. So, Monday, which would be today, when this video was recorded. But Monday, when this video was up, it, you, 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 you get it. You get it. Anyways, um, I called Joe Dice, and I asked him if he wants chocolate. And he said yes. Um, I ended up giving him chocolate. And I had to run him a favor because uh, I was out already and he wanted me to go to Target to get him a fan for uh, his PlayStation Pro. So I was like, all right, no problem. I stand in line. And that I usually, before I even get into the line and everything, you know, usually I go to, because we have two, two going on three uh, Targets on Staten Island. And there's one by the mall and the one by the outer bridge. And usually I go to the one by the mall, but I ended up going to the one on the outer, outer bridge because Joe Dice lives closer to the one on the outer bridge. But that's not important. What is important is I usually check out the Yu-Gi-Oh! section of each target. And I was thinking that they weren't going to have anything. And by my surprise, I came across a whole shelf of these. This this deck right here. This is Mechanized Madness. This is the new Machina deck. Now, what does this have to do with the channel? Well, I'm going to unbox it today, and I'm going to review every single card in this Machina deck. And, of course, your boy had to get three. So there's another one, and the other one's in the bag. I'm not going to lie. I kind of opened the other one already. But I want to unbox it. The other one, actually, this one right here, to the channel right now. So if you could do me a favor, can you please, please press that like button. Please subscribe. And also make sure you comment because if you don't, I might have to show what a dual disc and I have to duel you and send your soul to the shadow rooms. So without a further ado, I'm going to go and unbox this right here. Keep the... Uh, the mat. This is uh, Pokemon versus Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, that's not what's important. What's important is this mechanized madness. Now I'm going to show you that I have three. So this is the other one, and the final one is in here that I already opened. Um, so now usually it would make sense for me to go with the opened one, but I feel like the opened one is not in order. So I'm going to open only one of these because everything else in the Mechanized uh, Madness is the same. So um, let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and try to open it, of course. And you can also see I went to Target and got it. There you go. Um, but here we go. Got it open. And, of course, you get the deck, which is right here. Uh, the casing, whatever. That's not important. But what's important is you get this. You get this nice uh, little paper mat. Um, here you go. Mechanized Madness. So, anybody who wants this, I'll sign it and I'll give it to you guys. Um, but, we're here for the deck itself. And this is right here, the beauty, this beautiful deck right here. Oh, it also doesn't come with the booklet anymore. It seems like you have to scan this um this code because actually it shows you like I guess the com the combos here, um like basic like combos. But um this doesn't come with like the instructions on how to play like usually it comes with the instructions on how to play but it doesn't for this um it comes with the the uh the q 
the Q the Q code uh, Q code. So you have to scan it on your phone essentially with the app, and um, it'll tell you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for the, uh, the deck itself. So let me go ahead and try to open this thing. Here we go. I'm opening it up now. And go ahead. And bada boom. So, like I said, the cue card for how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Ooh, I didn't even notice this. This, wow, this is this is great. Wow, holy crap. Uh, it looks like it comes with this. I don't know what this is. I think it's for the, like the the online stuff. And this is Duel Links, of course. You get the Duel Links card. Um, this is the 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 scan thing that you can use for uh the duelings but that's again essentially not what we're here for we're here for this lovely deck right here so so without further ado i'll bring to you these card review so right now we got this right here is uh machina citadel um this is a very beautiful card actually very beautiful um, I'm going to go over the, some of the card effects, like the first few cards um, and their effects. Um, this is very beautiful, though. Very, very beautiful. This is Machina Possessed Storage. Another beautiful card. Very beautiful. I'm bringing it up to the light so that way you guys can see it better. Very beautiful. This is another beautiful baby. This is Machina Air Raid. Look how beautiful this card really is. Like, really beautiful. This is Machina Redeployment. Another beautiful card. Oh, oh my goodness. Um, this right here is Unauthorized Reactivation. Oh, beautiful. Just worth it. Beautiful. Um, this is Machina Ir Irradiator. I stumbled upon this card. I don't know why. Every time I read this card... I just stumble. Um, this is Machina Fortress. We all know Machina Fortress. I, it's not really like, you know, holographic and stuff. So I'm kind of a little upset about that. This is the next card right here is Machina Gear Frame. This brings me back to the Machina Cyber Dragon card, uh, Cyber Dragon deck. Very beautiful. This is Machina Peacekeeper. Uh, this is Machina Force. Very beautiful. Uh, this is Machina Megaform. Nice. This is also Machina Cannon. Uh, this is Machina Soldier. Um, this is Machina Sniper. Machina Defender. This is uh, Commander Commenton. This is one of the, you know, Kaiju cards. This is Jazurikin, the Star Destroying Kaiju. Jazurikin. Jazurikin? Is that how it's? You let me know down below how it's like the enunciation goes, but I think it's Jazurikin. Um, this is Snowplow Hustle Rustle. Russell. This is a, another card. Uh, this is Genetic Al, uh, Genetic, uh, Ali Birdman. This is Torque, uh, Torque Tune Gear. This is Scrap Recycler. Um, this is Death Spot One. This is Left Defender. This is Right. Righty Defender, Lefty Defender, and Righty Defender. And then this is Death Spot 3. And then this is the Machina Spell Cards. Machina Defender Perimeter. Um, This is Iron Draw. This is Iron Call. This is Machina Armored Unit. Let me just move these cards over here. This is the Supply Squad. This was the main card in Cyber Dragons that made Cyber Dragons, like, crazy. Like, Machina Cyber Dragons were OD. 
And this was reason. Then we got our basic powder avarice. This is now like up to three. So you'll be seeing a lot of this in a lot of people's decks soon. <laughs> uh, Ties of the Brethren. Beautiful card. Very beautiful. This is a limit removal. Very beautiful. Um, Magnetic Reverse. I wonder what this, this card does. I wonder what this card really do. Uh, oh, wow. I didn't even think this was going to be in it. Cosmic Cyclone. Beautiful. Beautiful card. Beautiful effect. Um, this is Machina Override. Beautiful. This is, oh, a Cyber. This is what I was talking about. So Cyber Dragons can searchly, essentially search this card right here. Cyber Summon Blaster. This is a really cool card. Um, back to the front. Another back to the front. Just trying to get the track cards together. Um, this is Trap Trick. Woo! I remember when Trap Tricks used to be a thing. Uh, Be Gone Knave. Beautiful. And my final card... Solemn Strike. So, essentially, those are what I pulled out of the deck and its deck box. So now I'm going to review the first few cards and their effects. So give me a moment, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the part of the video where I'm going to read off effects of cards that I think is worth putting in the deck. Um, now, the reason why I'm not reading off every single card is because I don't have a deck list for this deck yet. But essentially what I want to do is make a Machina deck, a pure Machina deck, and a uh, Cyber Dragon Machina deck. With that being said, um, I will have the next two videos dedicated to that uh, Machina deck and Cyber Dragon Machina. I will also um, uh, do a, a deck list for other decks like Shadows and my DDDs. But anyways, um, I want to also say that you guys can... Put your comments down below. What cards should I, you know, not only put in for this deck, but for any other deck that I've put on this channel futurely, I want you guys to help me out because this community about Yu-Gi-Oh! is about helping each other and learning and experiencing and growing. Um, I want to see comments down below saying that, you know, this card is, you should take it out. I don't want to see comments like, oh, well, that card is dumb. I won't put that. I don't, I don't know why you put that in. Like, it's more of, you want to make your suggestion known, but be friendly about it. Because the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, community is not... I, I've seen it. It's very, very toxic sometimes with its comments. Especially when, you know, newer players are coming in and they don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh! And they just they come off of watching the anime and they want to actually learn. I feel like a lot of people are hard on those type of people. Or just people in general that are casually just playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! They're not playing for competitive uh, reasons, you know. They just want tips on how to make their deck better and more consistent. And a lot of people are not um, friendly with that. They they try to tear them down and make them feel like crap. But I want to promote um, positive Yu-Gi-Oh! community uh, suggestions. So if I see something like, oh, that's a dumbass move or like that's dumb or stupid or whatever, like, I will remove the comments because that's not what we're trying to promote on this channel. We're trying to promote friendly um, friendly suggestions. We're trying to make sure that people can learn and understand and grow as Yu-Gi-Oh! players and as a Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! community it needs to be a lot less toxic and a lot more friendly. Like, that's what we need to promote. So, without, without, further, without a further ado, sorry, my tongue is being twisted up. But without further, uh, without further ado, let's go into these... Uh, Cards that I feel like we should be paying attention to in the Machina deck. So, this is Machina Gear Frame. Um, to level four. Uh, it's a Machine Union Monster effect. Uh, Union effect monster. Sorry. And its effect goes as this, and it reads as follows: When this card is normal summon, you can add one Machina monster from your deck to your hand, except uh, Machina Gear Frame. Once per turn, you can either target one machine monster you control, equip this card to the target, or unequip this card and special summon it. If this equipped monster would be destroyed by battle or card effect, 
this card would be destroyed instead. So essentially what you're going to do with that card is, you know, equip it to a monster and if like Regeki goes off or Dark Hole goes off, um, essentially this card will get popped, not the monster. Um, so that's really good. Uh, that's really, really good actually. Um, let's go on to, I have a level four too. So did I mention the level four? <laughs> but let's go into the another card. Um, Machina Fortress, level seven. Um, here it is. And his, he's a normal machine effect monster, and his effect reads as follows. You can discard um, machine monsters whose total level is equal to 8 or more, then special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. If this card is destroyed by battle and since the graveyard target one card your opponent controls, destroy that target. Before resolving an opponent's monster effect that targets this face of card, look at your opponent's hand and discard one card from their hand. So essentially, this card right here is really good. Um, I would say run two, um, maybe three, but I say two at most because this card is really good for popping off and getting the effects off. And you're going to need him because there's another card that's following this um, after after Air Raid. Because I'm going to get into Air Raid's effect right now. But there's a card that follows Air Raid. Um, that is really good for these this card and, and its combo. So we're going to keep that there. Next, it's Machina Air Raid, Raider, Air Raider, sorry. And he's a level 8. Uh, he's a regular Machina Monster with an effect. Um, and it reads as follows. You can discard one Machina Monster or stuff from this card from your hand. During your opponent's turn, quick effect, you can target one Machine Monster your opponent control, uh, one Machine Monster you control, Special summon from your deck one machine a monster with a different name and equal or lower level than the monster you than that monster. And if you do destroy that target monster, you can only use each effect of machine air raider once per turn. So I, I think this is good at like maybe one, two at most. Um it's very, very easy to summon out, and it's not really complicated. It's really fair. Um I love the card. I'm gonna I'm gonna see what you what plays you could do with this. But this would go into another effect that I was talking about. Um Machina uh possessed storage. Um now this is not the card I was talking about that follows up on Fortress, it's Citadel, and I will talk about Citadel in a second. Um so this is a level four uh machina possessed storage. Um, it's a regular machine effect monster, and it reads as follow. If this card, let me just make sure it stays there. Okay, if this card is normal, special summon. You can target one machine in your graveyard, except machine of possessed storage. Special summon in the defense mode, but it but it cannot activate its effect this turn. You can only you no sorry. You can target one other machine of monster you control and one spell track card your opponent controls. Return them to the hand. You can only use. Each effect of Machina possess storage once per turn. So this is good at like two, maybe three. Um, I like the effect where you could just pop a card off the, off the field and put it back in your hand and essentially put one card on the field back to your opponent's hand. So that's really good. Um, spell And spell attracts, so that's really good. <laughs> Next, um, this is the card I was talking about. This is Machina Citadel, and this is a level 10. And... It's a regular machine monster, and his, his effect reads as follow. And this is the card I was talking about that goes with Fortress. And it looks like from other readings, it could also for Air Raid. Air Raider, sorry. Let me just make sure this focus. There you go. So um, we're going to get into it of Machina Citadel. Sorry, there you go. Cannot be normal or uh, cannot be normal or set summoned. Must be set summoned by a card effect. Quick effect: you could target one machine monster you control, destroy that machine monster and all other monster your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to the to it. If a face up Earth machine monster or monsters you control, except Machina Citadel, is destroyed by battle or card effect while this card is on the field. No, while well, this card's in the graveyard, excuse me. You can special summon one 
You can special summon this card. You can only use this effect of Machina Citadel once per turn. So, essentially, it's really good for um, summoning out itself of an effect and sending cards um, to the graveyard. So, that's really good. It's, and it's not really sending, it's more popping. So, yeah, that's really good. Um, I say maybe run, run that at three. Um, but like I said, I'll have a deck list up pretty soon um, in the next video. Um, this is the next, this is a spell card um, that I feel like we need to pay attention to. This is Unauthorized Reactivation. And it's a quick spell. And the effect reads as follow. Target one machine monster you control. Equip one appropriate machine union monster from your hand or deck that to that monster. But the union monster you equip cannot be special summoned. This card, or uh, this turn, you can activate, you can only activate one unauthorized reactivation per turn. This is good at two, maybe three. Um, I'm going to figure out more of the combos with these cards and, the, and this, especially with this. But this is, sounds like it's good at three. Um, and I will continue to do research on this, but I really like this. Um, because it could go for anything, and especially Union Carrier is still out and, I, and still a thing. We could do that. And finally, the moment we all been waiting for, the new spell card as well. <clears throat> Machina Redeployment. <clears throat> this is a regular spell card. And its effect reads as follow. Activate one of those effect one of these effects. Discard one card, add two machine monsters with different names from each other from your deck to your hand. Um, so it's essentially discard one card, add two machine monster with different names from each other from your deck to your hand. Okay, so I make sure I'm reading this right. You can essentially add um, from the deck. So this is like um, uh, cyber, not rev system. Uh, I'm gonna say, the, the searcher, the spell searcher, the regular spell searcher that Cyber Dragon has. Um, I can't remember the name, but you can put it down in the comments below. Um, it's going to bother the, sh the crack out of me. Um, the second effect is discard one Machina card, add two Machina cards with different names from each other from your deck to your hand, except Machina redeployment. You can only activate one Machina deploy or redeployment once per turn. So, essentially, this card searches out spells and it searches out monsters from the deck, which is really, really good. I say run three of that because that's really, really good. And that's really um, what machine monsters and what well, machines in general need. They need um, to search itself and, well, not itself, but search other cards outside of itself. And I really like this card. I'm really, like, in favor to, not indifferent, uh, favorite to it. I'm trying to remember the Cyber Dragon card. I think it's Cyber System. No. Um not Rev System. It's Cyber uh, It's gonna it's gonna bother me on what card that was on um, that people do and do not like. It's like a love-hate relationship with Cyber Dragons. But regardless, um this is the end of the video. Um please guys like, comment, share, subscribe, um and please let me know what you think. Do you think this dot this deck would be a top uh, top tier uh, deck, or do you think this deck is gonna be one of those decks that's, that's gonna grow on people and gonna be slowly in the rank, and then they're gonna find like new ways to play and OCK and stuff like that? Let me know down below. You know because I'm pretty interested in machine decks, uh, fiend decks, and I'm gonna um, reveal a deck that I'm working on. It's like the ultimate deck, in my opinion. It's a very go sec. It's very heavy on going second. Um, a lot of people have been stirring up its name so far in the Yu-Gi-Oh community, but not a lot of people are paying attention to it or know what it is. And there's this one card that's a dragon. It's like a super poly. Like you literally discard one card out of your hand, and it's a super poly. It's really, cr it's really crazy. Um, but this is the end of the video, and I hope you guys like it. Please, again, like I said, like, comment, and share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more deck 
and card openings and deck listings and stuff like that. Anyways, this is Shamar, and I'm out.